He doesn't look slimy enough to be a slug. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Power of the Primes Deluxe Class Slug. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So at the front here, we have Slug. His name is Slug. He is a Deluxe Class, a Class of Deluxe, a Class of Deluxe, and a Class of Deluxe. On this side of the box, we have a picture of the combined mode of Volcanicus. On the top, up on the box, we have a nice image there of Slug all breathing fire. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, and you have your brief bio if you want to read it, and that's basically it for the packaging. Also included is the collector's card with that same image there of Slug. And on the back, he is Vector Slug, and he time travels to challenge history's greatest warriors. He is the Scott Bakula of Transformers. And moving right along... Here we have Deluxe Class Slug, the next of our Deluxe Dinobots, and here he is in his Dino Mode, little Triceratops, and again, it's a nicely done figure, in my opinion, much like Swoop, Lord Swoopington. Let's get in close here so we can take a look at that noggin, you can see it transparent plastic with the gold underneath, which is very nice, very g one red eyes, got the Autobot symbol right there, got the red horns. You got the frill, nicely detailed. Got some black going down the sides there. Got some more gold up top. You got some black and gold right in there. This is also some transclearing plastic again, a la G1. You got some tampograph details there on the back of the tail. Again, the tail is done in that transclearing plastic with the gold, which looks quite nice. And the underside there. Pretty, pretty cool. Now, articulation-wise, uh, the mouth can open, although it does lock in place. Like, when you get to when you get to this point right here, the mouth will just lock into place, so you have to unlock it right there. So that's as far as you'll be able to, you know, leave it open without actually locking the mouth. So you can just have them, like, bleh, but then you start having visible head syndrome. But, hey, you can't open this mouth if you want to. Uh, the horns can rotate. You can angle those out, bring them in. So you can angle those however you like. The head can move up and down on these hinges, but then he, this, things just start to come apart, and that just looks weird. But hey, he does kind of sort of have a neck there. Now uh, the front legs are on the ball joint. can do a full 360. can go in and out. You got a swivel there. You have a elbow, or technically knee since this is a leg, which actually kind of moves both ways. Like so, the hind legs gun. Do a full 360 there, and you have a knee joint there. And the tail can move down. That's more for transformation, but, you know, it can, it can move. So You got that going on right there. So now for comparison, here is the Triceratops with a, with a car. As you can see there. There he is with Hot Rod. Just so you can get a sense of size there. Uh, here he is with Fans Projects, not Slag. So you can see how they look together. Uh, here he is with Lord Swoopington from Power of the Primes. So you can see how they look together. So you got that going on. And here he is with G1 Slag because it's pressure. Pressure, topping pressure. So there you have that. Now, as far as accessories go, he does include his prime armor, which again is just like the prime armor that came with Swoop, just done all in black with that transparent piece right there in the center. And becomes the combined mode hand, and you can store this on the Triceratops. You just use this post, put it right there on his back, and you just plug that on, and voila, he has a big spiky block on his back. Okay, sure, why not? Dare I say, why not? Okay. Hey, it's storage, it, it's storage. He does also include his gun, which is just cast in black plastic, very reminiscent of the G1 gun. 
some nice detail going on in there. A couple things you can do with this. There are ports on either uh, hip right here. So you can plug the gun there on the side if you wish. On the prime armor, the, uh, the thumbs do have 5mm ports on them. So if you want, you can actually plug the gun up here if you wish. And that can rotate. So now he kind of has like a turret on his back. So that's actually kind of cool. That, that works. Gives a little bit more, uh, <laughs> makes him more of a dino rider, kind of. Hey, that could, that could work. That could, that could work. So, hey, it's a thing. It's a thing you can do if you want to do it. But there's the storage for the accessories. So we'll put this off to the side and get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. Now, as usual, we'll go into combined modes and then go into robot mode. So first we will start off with the leg mode. So to get him... Into leg mode, you just take the tail here and you flip that up. You bring up the legs here. You just bend them at the knee joint here. There is a little tab right here. It's going to go into this slot right in there. So you just bring that up. That will just sit in there. Bring that up. Sit that in there. Um, this is one instance where the instructions are actually wrong. The instructions just have you folding these front legs up like that. And um, no, that's not how that goes. Because if you notice here... There is a tab on the side of the body, and there is a notch right there. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to turn the leg right here, and that will then just tab in right there to lock the arm in place. So that's how that's supposed to go. So to answer the question, how do reviewers make mistakes in the transformation when you have instructions? Because sometimes the instructions tell you to do it wrong. So, <laughs> hey, it happens. It happens. <laughs> and then you just take the head. And you just bring it all the way back, bring it down. You can see these little, uh, little, little hooks right here. Just going to go into those notches right there. So that just sits right in there like that. And then you just flip up the combiner peg like so. And there you have slugs like mode. That's pretty much it. Um, again, the feet are going to come with Grimlock. But um, yeah, there's, there's the leg mode. That's, that's the leg mode. Woo, leg mode. So, moving on to arm mode, uh, you're going to take the legs here, just straighten them out, because we're going to need this room right here to bring the tail down, and then swing it out, like so. Once you do that, we can now take the legs and just extend them downward, like that. You do want to keep all this tab together. On mine, this back section doesn't like to stay tabbed together too well. It likes to actually like push itself apart. I don't know if there's just some mold flash in there I need to trim or something. I need to take a better look at that, but anyway. Uh, these little pieces right here are extra heel support, and you do want to take these and bring them down. The easiest way to do it is to just take the leg and just bring it down because they're kind of hooked together there. So you just bring that down like so. Bring that down like so because you need this real estate for the tail. So you just bring this forward. Bring that in, bring that forward, bring that in. You can just connect the tail, and the tail will just come in right there, like so. You can see how it kind of wraps itself around that bit right there. And then once you do that, you just bring up the legs, and again, they'll just go into those little tabs right there to hold them in place. Let's just fold that up, bring that in, like so. And then you just rotate here at the waist, bring the peg down, like so, and then we bring in the prime armor here, and we just flip out to the fingers, get the thumbs situated, flip out to the peg, plug that into the bottom, and there you have the arm mode for slug. So there you go. There he is as an arm. Now, a couple of people told me in the comments that you can fold away one of the thumbs, and... um. No, you can't. You can't fold away the thumb. The thumb, this is as far in as they go, and they don't move in any other direction. So I don't know what people are talking about with, you can fold one of the thumbs away. No, you can't. But no, you can't fold them away. Um, if you don't like him having two thumbs, you can always just pop one off and just toss it in a drawer if you want. But there's no actually folding it away. You can't even, I thought maybe you could maybe pop it off and maybe... Just kind of store it in here somehow, but yeah, no, there is no folding one thumb away. It doesn't work. I guess you could tab it here, but then that still doesn't do all that much as far as making anything look better. So yeah, yeah, there's no folding it away. So yeah, 
I think, I think that's just a case of, I don't own this toy, but I'm going to tell you exactly how it works, and you have no idea how often that happens, but anywho. But anyway, there is Slug in arm mode, hooray for arms. So let's get down to robot mode. So remove the hand, put that off to the side, and just rotate them out the way so everything is facing forward. Split the legs, boop, and the legs are all done. So now we'll just rise up slightly here. Flip down the combiner peg, untab the arms, rotate, come under here, and flip out his hands. Bring that around. Flip out the hands. Boop, flip. Boop, flip. Boop, flip. I said, I said, boop. When I say boop, you boop. You listen to me. Anyway. And then you just take the triceratops head, you just bring it all the way forward until it snaps into place like that. And then you just bring down this panel. That, that will also snap into place right there to reveal the face, and there you have Slug in his robot mode. And looks nice, again, a, a nice little deluxe Slug. I do quite dig him. Now let's get in close here so we can take a look yoop, at that noggin. Nicely done, nice red paint there for the eyes. He's just kind of like, he, he looks like he's in a bad mood. Like he's just having a bad day. He's just grumpy. He's just a grumpy push. He's just a little grumpy push. Anyway, all about symbol right there on the chest. Some nice details going on here. Going down the body. You do get some gunmetal gray here as well as some silver on the thighs, which looks quite nice. And all the details we've seen already in Dino Mode. Take a look at the back here. And it's a clean transformation going on. Um, the only thing I wish this did is I do wish that these side pieces did open up to give him his little wings. Like those don't, that those don't do anything, unfortunately. So that's the only, my, my only real complaint about the figure is I just wish these little side panels opened up to give him his little wings. It's the only thing missing as far as I'm concerned. But there you go. Now, as far as articulation goes, uh, the head can rotate in there, and that's pretty much as far as it can go. It can be a little hard to kind of get the head moving, but there you go. You do get some rotation there. The shoulders are on a ball joint. You can do a full 360. You can go in and out. You do have bicep rotation. You have a very soft ratcheted elbow joints there with 90 degrees of bend. Uh, the wrists don't do anything except for moving down for a uh, transformation. You do have waist rotation. The hips are on a ball joint. Can go forward that far, back that far, outward that far. You do have thigh rotation. You have under 90 degrees of bend there at the knee. That's all you're going to get as far as knee bend goes. And it looks like a little bit of paint there has scratched off. Oh no. Oh no. That side's fine. Just that side a little bit scratched off. It's the first time I noticed that. Hmm. I didn't know what happened there. Anyway. And that's pretty much it. As you can see, the feet are just a solid piece there. So there's no articulation in the feet. There you go. And of course the horns there. You can kind of, you know, if you want to bring them out, bring them up, do whatever you want with them. So, you got that going on right there. Of course, you can give him his gun. And he holds that nice and secure-like. So he can pew pew, bang bang. And of course, we can give him his uh, his prime armor. So I'm going to just flip the fingers back in. Bring those down. I think these stay down for slug here. Just flip that down. And that just plugs right in there into his chest. And again, looks totally ridiculous because it's just a big block on his chest that that's weird but okay and again you can take out this little clear piece here which can be held as a little pistol if you wish we can do some more pew pew bang bangs like so um since again i don't have any prime masters yet um you can fit titan masters in here so we'll just take swoops head here and that's just again that's just disturbing <laughs> Me swoopsy too much! Anyway, yeah, that's just... Basically, you can turn every Transformer now into Krang. It's basically what's going on here. You know, that's just how that... Oh, no, he fell. He fell. <laughs> a little... 
It's it's a little disturbing, just a little bit. Hey. <laughs> It'll look better with the Prime Masters because there won't just be a face sticking out of there. But anyhow, if you don't like that on his back, you can just take it and plug it right back on. Um, I mean, if you don't like it on his chest, rather, you can just take it and plug it right onto his back if you want and just have it sitting there as a backpack. Just kind of fold those thumbs in and just leave it there as a backpack. And now you don't have to look at it, which is the best way to display it, in my opinion, is just not having to look at it at all. Or if you want to, you can also um, kind of bring these up. And there are ports on the sides of his forearms here. So just like with Swoop, you can have him holding it as like a shield or something. You know, it's a thing. It's a thing you can do if you want to do it. Me personally, I think I'm just going to leave these things on their backs until I have them all and I'll just leave them in combined mode. But um, yeah, and, all, and also one thing to note is there are uh, Titan Master pegs here on his back, or Prime Master pegs, so you can stand a Titan Master or a Prime Master back there if you wish. But I'm just going to leave that back there. But there you go, and now for you stand, and now for for comparison, here he is with Deluxe Hot Rod. Yes, you can see how oh, they scale there. Uh, here he is with Voyager Prime from Combiner Wars. Just so you can see how they scale with one another. Uh, here he is with Fans Projects, not Slag, so you can see how you, you stand. The Prime Armor is weighing him down, you can see how they look together there. Uh, here he is with Lord Swoopington, just so you can see how they look next to one another, and they look good together, look very very good together in my opinion. And here he is with G1 Slag because he's pressure, pressure, topping pressure. So there you go. There you have Power of the Primes Deluxe Slug. I'm just going to take this off his back. Get, get out of here. <laughs> Don't need you. Don't need you anyway. But there you have Deluxe Slug. Um, a nice little figure. You know, like, my, my only complaint is just I wish these little side panels came out to give him his little wings. That's my only real complaint about the figure. Other than that, hey, nice little Deluxe Dinobot for your collection. Again, love that um, the other Dinobots are finally getting some mainline love. The G1 Dinobots, anyway. Because, again, I, I know we got Dinobots in the movies, but proper G1 Dinobots. It's nice that they're finally getting some main line love and i appreciate it and again they're, they're cool little fun figures so uh, you go. now if you would like this or any other power of the primes toys you can always check out bigbadtoystore.com for availability there will be a link in the description down below so you can check that out you can also check out my power of the primes playlist for any reviews you may have missed also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well and I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers Power of the Primes Deluxe Class Slug, and this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, boom in your face! What happened to Grimlock? Grimlock lost his head. Me keeping it warm for him. This is embarrassing. Me Grimlock no deserve this. Shh. It's okay, Grimlock. You go to sleep now. La 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 la. You can't put me Grimlock to sleep with a lullaby. Me Grimlock. La 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 la